வெல்கம் பேக் காய்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் டேக் இட் ரேக் டுடே ஓப்போ ரீனோ ஃபோர் ப்ரோ அன்பாக்சிங் அண்ட் ரிவ்யூ ரீனோ ஃபோர் ப்ரோ லாஸ்ட் டூ டேஸ் மோர் ஐ ஆம் யூசிங் திஸ் டிவைஸ் ஹவ் விஸ் இட் மை எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் திஸ் டிவைஸ் வாட்ஸ் டூ பாய் எவ்ரி திங் ரிவ்யூ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஸோ காய்ஸ் டோன் ஸ்கிப் த வீடியோ பாக்ஸ் ஃப்ரெண்ட் சைட் பிக் ரீனோ நேம் ரைட் சைட் பிராண்டிங் பேக் சைட் ஒன் ஸ்மால் ஸ்டிக்கர் பார் கோட் அண்ட் மொபைல் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் நாட் யூர் ஸ்பெக்ஸ் ஷீட் ஓகே First, peel up the plastic, then look box inside contents. Box front side, very shiny look. Okay, don't waste your time. First, open the box, look inside content. Inside of the box front side, one length mini box here. On front side, OPPO printing. And mini box inside, some paperwork and sour value information guide here. Yeah, nothing more. Inside of the box. More box front side, mobile phone here. It's covered on plastic. It is not a normal version. It is glowing version phone. Yeah, it's glowing version. Later, I am going to look the phone side by side. Maybe you like this phone back pattern. Yeah, I really love it. Okay, let's look. Box inside content. More free case. It is not a hard case. It is lace case. Quality is not bad. Anyways, give you free case. More 65 watts. Super hook. Fast charging adapter. Then free headphone. Finally, type zip cable. Overall box inside all contents here Oppo not skip free headphone it is type C headphone not 3.5 mm jack headphone because no headphone jack here on this phone okay first remove the plastic okay see guys phone back pattern wow it's really cool right this phone back made in glass not a plastic it is not shiny back it is matte finished back look like same iPhone 11 Pro and OnePlus 8 style matte finish I really love this pattern. Do you like guys? Do you like shiny back or this type matte finish style? Come on now. I really hate this giant Reno Glow brand. Phone thickness and camera bump not big compared to this segment mobile phones. Okay, first we will do the phone side by side. First look at the phone display. Display come with 6.55 inches full HD plus resolution AMOLED display with HDR10 plus panel. This display support 9 Hz refresh rate. Phone top left corner side tiny punch hole, punch hole inside 32 megapixel front facing camera. It's curved finishing display. Out of the box phone running on Android 10 based in color OS 7. This device processor Snapdragon 765G, it is mid-end 5G processor. Now today this processor run all games quite good. This processor one more advantage This phone support all games maximum all settings and play at same time Hunt of the King and PUBG run one by one on phone background I'm switch one game to other game it's quite good no struggle it's not bad yeah it's mid range 5G processor run quite good okay, first look PUBG gaming settings this processor support HD and ultra in PUBG it's really cool because now the day Snapdragon 765G support high stand ultra only this device other device not support okay once again um testing the heating i am totally play to our small heating display side 38 bottom side 36 overall it's not high snapdragon 765G manage phone heat issues Let's look camera. Phone back side triple camera stuff here. Main camera 48 megapixel, secondary 30 megapixel telephoto lens, 2x optical zoom, last 112 megapixel ultra wide. Let's look camera. Camera wise, this device support super steady mode and macro also. See guys, the quality. Yeah, macro also working good. No macro lens here on this device, but ultra wide support macro. It's really good, not bad. Okay, just I am zooming. See guys, the quality. It's up to support 20x digital zoom. Quality is not bad. It's cool. Okay, just look at the video department. Video wise, this device support up to 4K 30fps per second. Slow motion 960 fps support also. One more this device main highlight super night mode. How is it work? Without flash only live capture. Just look. Left side Oppo Reno 4 Pro, right side Huawei P40 Pro. Yeah, 
without take shot just only view with macro lens you know for it's not bad